tension in Iguosa axis of Benin Lagos Express Road as security personnel shoot at youths. Gunshot between security personnel and youths around Iguosa. Iguosa axis was deserted four hours after the incident. An army helix, a helix van, was destroyed by an arranged dog who was still on the road. When the news team arrived at the incident scene, the road was also barricaded by the arranged youth, commenting on incidents. An eyewitness said the youth shot into the air while conveying a corpses to their residence for funeral rites, according to him. The shooting of the youth angered the security personnel who accustomed them. One Mr. Sunday Noah said everyone can shoot knock out. Everyone can shoot a gun because it is not the security business. So as we were coming, it was as when we came and met that a soldier man has killed two of our youth. One is dead and the other we don't know where it is. And now the soldiers are nowhere to be found. At the time of this report, neither the army nor the police public relations officers could be reached. The news crew, however, intend to hear their own side of the story as well as they can be reached for interview. Thank you for listening to this news. My viewers, the both sides are to be blamed. I will start my blame from the Benin youth. That is why in anything you are doing, try not to include the talks because the talks are bad news to the community. They are bad news to the community and they disappointed to the masses. You understand what I'm saying? Because you people are conveying a corpse doesn't give you the right to, be, to, to shoot so much like that. Convey your corpse peacefully. Do whatever you want to do peacefully. And let the corpse bury itself and go it on its own. What's the need of shooting? You are the people that, they are the ones that attracted the attention of the, of, the, of the military. If they have not shot, the military wouldn't have taken the action that they took. They wouldn't have come after them. Yes, let's tell ourselves the truth. They wouldn't have come after them. They attracted the, the attention of the, of, the, of, the, of the military. You understand? So attracting the attention of the military, they got what they want. So that is why if you are doing anything in life, mm -hmm. make sure that the talks are totally exempted. Make sure that the talks are not part of what you are doing. Because if they are part of what you are doing, you will cry. You will fail and you will be disappointed. Do you understand? So they are the ones that attracted the attention of the military. Why? For the, for the, for the part of the military, yes, I will still blame them. Why? Why is that the military nowadays overuse their power? They overuse their power and their chances. That is why I was of this opinion that our Nigerian military should also be introduced to morals. Why, um, why in course as a military man? They should be introduced with morals. They should be trained educationally so that they too will have um, some, some sense of belongings and also learn to learn on how to treat humans because some military speak English to them, you see what they will say to you. Say hello, see how he will respond to you. 
That's why so many, so many of our military don't understand what's up. What they understand is go calm. Go calm. Like our northern militaries, how about? You don't dare step on the tools. Because of the hard training that has been given to them and torture, they, come, they, 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 they decide to come out to be, to, be, to be hard. And as they come in out to be hard, they end up being hard on the, on the masses. It doesn't go that well. It doesn't all go well. I'm not in support of that. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I'm not in support of that one bit and I will never be. You understand? It doesn't go well. Let's tell ourselves the truth. Let's call it spade a spade and do the and do the need for. You understand? And do the need for. We are not helping matters. So our Nigerian military, I will say they are at fault. They are at fault by killing and uh, by killing a citizen, an indigent, and a Nigerian. They are wrong. Completely wrong. And the soldier man that committed this crime, I want to say that the soldier man should be looked for. He should not be allowed to go scot-free. Yes. From my understanding, these soldiers must definitely be in Benin. And they may have been called for the purpose of this gubernatorial election. So it is very easy to trap the killer. It is very easy to get hold on, on the killer. It's not difficult. Let them do the needful. So generally, let me speak to our Nigerian government. See, our country has gotten to the stage whereby we now need to start um, letting the, 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 the people know their stand, their position, what they, 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 what they can, what they can and what they cannot in the country. This country is now advanced to the stage of knowing your rights. Know your rights in this country. So let us not, not let the federal government not be denying the masses of their rights. That's what I'm trying. That's where I'm heading to. Because the masses that you see know their rights, and that is why sometimes when a soldier or a policeman try to interrogate someone um, wrongly, you see that civilian telling him, "Look, this is what." The, 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 the constitution of Nigeria says, I have my rights. This is what my right is, and that is what your own right is. It's just like uh, 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 a SAS offic offic officer trying to get hold of, um, of a Yahoo boy. Is that their duty? It's, that's not their duty. So let them face their duty. Do you understand? So, my viewers, what's your own take on this news? Please do well to leave your comment below the comment box. Click on the subscription button as well as the bell button to get updated whenever we upload any new video. Thank you.